Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I'm Neg Primer. I'm here with my puppy. Uh, and we are going ahead and jumping in. And when we were trying to decide if we wanted to continue with the Daedalus missions, or rather start the Daedalus missions, but uh, we're really kind of just over 100,000. So if I upgrade, I've only got about 30,000 to deal with in the monies. Uh, and science data from the space around Kerbin. And we are getting new missions constantly. And like this one will give us, it gives us like an $8,000 advance. And then a $20,000 bonus upon completion. Transmit or recover scientific data from space around Kerbin. Da, 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 da. We weren't making any progress at all towards learning if Kerbin was in fact perfectly round, not an oblate spheroid. <laughs> spheroid. <laughs> okay. Uh, a nice frequency at which we'd find ourselves undergoing a disassembly. This is how we reach the possible conclusion on how a day on Kerbin was really six hours long. Send us data from space around Kerbin. But I get a lot of money from this. I get tw I get twenty thousand plus an eight thousand dollar advance, which is basically money that's going to go into building the ship. Um, and I want to get some more of a buffer because if I do one Daedalus mission and don't get any money off of it, because I think that was going for about twenty thousand is how big my rocket was. I could be way off on that. But I I would like to get that. I'll also get uh, I will also get three science from doing this. Temperature scans of Kerbin. Temperature on the surface at area near Wilsey's Curiosity. Ooh. Interesting. This one will give me a lot of money too. So we're starting to get the ones. We're starting to get some ones that are going to give us some real money. Um, we can go back and try to do. Yeah, see, these these are small fry missions by comparison. Mm -hmm. uh, these temperature scans, we get a three thousand dollar, thirty thousand, sorry, thirty thousand dollar advance, ten thousand for each temperature completion, or rather nine thousand, closer to nine thousand, and then we get a fifty-six thousand bonus upon completion. Science data from space around Kerman. I'm going to start off with this one. This one... Well, let's go ahead and take that. Woolsey basic jet engine on flight over Kerbin. So we'll take all of those. So a couple of them are going to require the jets. In here... Temperature scans, recover scientific data from space around Kerman. So I think that's going above about 80, 75,000 feet. This one is test the kickback solid fuel booster while landed. And that is basically a... whoa. That is a giant one. That's what she said. Um... Oh, that's right, I went there. We're gonna, we're gonna start from scratch. And again, these are still just basically contract missions. Um... We are on this one, going to do a stack decoupler. 
Because look at the size of this thing. <laughs> uh. And really all I want is to get this. Um, there is the one for doing different heights around the planet. Uh, we're not going to do that one. We're going to test this engine on the landing pad. So the kickback solid fuel booster. And we're going to try to get to space, basically. Transmit or recover scientific data from space around Kerbin. Wait. Let's transmit or recover. Okay. I don't have to transmit to complete this. We are going to put... We are going to make sure our pilot is in there again. We didn't need a pilot for the other ones. But yeah, so we got we got that. Now all we really need is some aerodynamics. There's not really a whole lot of distinguishing features on this other than that text on either side. setting off my OCD here, because I want everything to be perfect. And recover scientific data from around camera. So I think... I think that's going to want me to actually use this. And then, like I said, we do have this temperature gauge, and that's going to be another set of missions. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out where exactly they want me to go with that one in order to actually complete it. Decouple, pull the parachute separately. Um, my biggest concern is that this is actually going to put us, because we're not adding on a lot of weight that isn't fuel. Um, so my biggest concern is this is actually going to get us too high. 2600, huh? Stack separator still hasn't been done. Yeah, that's kind of loose. From space around Kerbin. I might actually. Oof. Damn it, I'd have to. Crap. Okay, I am going to actually. So I'm going to upgrade our launch pad. We can't even test this without upgrading our launch pad. So it's no longer a dirt launch pad, it's now a nice little complex in its own right. And that puts us back at 79,000. Okay. But now it can now it can take us. It can take anywhere up to 36 meters high, and the mass is up to 140 tons now. Still at 30 parts, though. I think that's what it was at before. I wonder if that's changed somewhere else. I could have actually looked. But bam, 
that's all we are. Bam, we already got that achievement. So no matter what here we're getting... Well, assuming we don't break up and die. So those temperatures are all over here. Look at that. Look at that. We are going super, super fast. I, of course, have no control. I'm just hoping we don't completely burn up. Alright. So we're in orbit. I wonder if space... Holy crap! <laughs> Well, we're getting out there. Uh, that'll be that'll be a new height. Jeez. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There was not a single part of that that was expected. <laughs> oh, um. I sped up too fast. We do... I'm gonna just revert to launch. That was a 30 minute mission. Um... Okay. I didn't mean to speed up that much. We're speeding up here again. Look at that. So it'll do the same thing. So yeah, that's that's new heights there. Um and yeah, what I really want to see, so 85, as we approach 85,000, I really want to see if there's something beyond, it says orbit down here, I want to see if there's something beyond that. Look at that. Because, yeah, if this, I mean, if the point we're at now doesn't count as space, then I don't know what will. Um, scientific data from space around Kerbin. Crew report. While in space, high over Kerbin. Okay, so yeah, now we're gonna flip and we're gonna come, be coming back down. Okay, so there we go. And that's space. Oh, 
Wow, it actually followed us most of the way up there still. It's almost, I mean, you, we're being more affected by the Earth's rotation <laughs> for how far we traveled than anything else. But... If we're lucky, we will still... I mean, it seems like a done deal at this point, but I don't want to... Uh, can it? I want to make sure we land in water. Shoot, I should have done that while we were up super high as well. And we're gonna burn through this shit. And then this is gonna burn as well. Yep, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna actually do... Now let's just do it all. 260 is still a lot, I feel like. But I'm gonna put... Extra parachutes. On this, I'm hoping we won't get even get to the point where we're burning up. Because uh, right now, I just want to test this and be done with it. So this is basically the like SS. I don't know what you'd call it, ship, but it's the wishful thinking. Because I really just want to go up a bit. then, once it's safe to deploy these... Safe. Eh. Deploy. 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 This is probably, like, super rough. Oh, come on! Super rough on the parachutes. <laughs> okay! So yeah, if I can recover this whole thing, that'll be awesome. <laughs> okay. That's taken me way too high. Um. The reason I'm doing so many parachutes is I want to make sure I'd rather waste the money on extra parachutes than uh, have to buy everything. Uh, everything all over again. Okay, so we got that. Scientific data from the space around Kerbin. In order to do that, we most definitely do not need this rocket. In fact, I think... I might even just do that. The decoupler in between the two of them. Um, and then hopefully... Actually... Well, no. I need them to keep me stable. 
let's actually put them on this stage. Watch out. And then let's get rid of these extra parachutes. And that's gonna be it. That should hopefully get us up to space. <laughs> and if you think about it, there's nothing quite so loosely defined as space. Well, that's not true. There are other things as loosely defined as space. But, point is, space is rather loosely defined. Uh, we kind of just pick an arbitrary level where we go, oh yeah, this, this is space. This right here, this is space. then, because we don't really need to go anywhere, I kind of want to just get as high. Oh shoot, that actually is going to get us a lot higher than I want. Damn it! Wow! I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna waste our time. Uh, <laughs> I don't need to go that high. Would one booster do it? I wonder. On this size of craft, I've tried this before. I'm sure, people, but I don't remember. It's been a long couple of weeks. <laughs> This will get us up to about 30 or something like that, I believe. That's not going to be high enough. We ultimately need to get somewhere in the 80 75,000 range. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll start. Yeah, say so that's gonna just not quite give us enough height. I might actually want to go with a smaller booster and then put a. Well, let's go ahead and see how high this will actually tell us it's going. It does say it does say we're in orbit. Upper atmosphere, though. That's the big thing. 62,000, so... It does need to say space here. <clears throat> and I believe the area that we are considering space. Is around the 75. So I think it's 72. Is what I want to say. Burp, burp, bump. And what we're actually going to do instead of that. Is we're gonna go with a medium tank and a swivel fuel engine and then underneath that we're gonna do a smaller booster with a decoupler uh, just structural okay Bottom one, decouple, that one, decouple, parachute. And then that will give us a little bit more control.
and that will still get us off the ground. That actually might not be enough. Roll. Oh. And you know what? <laughs> we didn't put fins on anyways. But if we give us, if we put on the big engine now, so we have extra weight added because of those as well. Whew, after recording this one, I'm going to have to uh, go play something a little bit more exciting, I think. Uh, as much as I am enjoying this, I need some action. No, get me wrong, like I said, I am actually really enjoying playing this. But, uh, I'm not sure anybody's ever gonna actually really enjoy watching this. <laughs> most of the, most of the Kerbals I watch, or have watched, has been people... Oh, that's gonna make it hard to maneuver, and the next stage it's gonna flip upside down again. Uh, but most of the ones I have watched uh, kind of just deal with the fact that it's not the super most exciting game, and they cut up their videos. They cut out a lot of the building progress uh, and such. Uh, I'm hoping that's something that'll actually attract people to this is that I am showing like every step of the process and being completely clear about when I'm cheating <laughs> okay the big thing is we want to keep from flipping over at this point I should probably pay more attention But yeah, this is a bit draining, because it does leave you feeling, uh, at least me, it feels me feeling, it, it leaves me feeling like I'm an idiot. Uh, and maybe I am, because I can't get this stupid thing to keep from flipping over. Um... What if we just thrust limit to about 50? We're putting too much thrust on, I think. And we don't need to do a full burn, because we can, we can build up speed. And really, this is something I should have been doing the whole time, probably. No. Yeah, this rocket, it's just not liking this rocket at, at, at all. Because <laughs> we have this big gap in our weight distribution here. Um, kind of want to... Damn it, I am gonna do this one before I quit. Damn it. I will. Um. This is gonna be a short squat one. Which will probably turn out the exact same way. <laughs> Cause I mean it's basically at this point. You want it you want them tall and slender. Yes, yes, I know, I know. But you want them tall and slender. <laughs> Oh, 
I didn't check these. Fortunately, they all seem to be okay. I also put the fins on the outside. So that's still not going to fix my tipping over problem. Sorry people, I am getting tired here. Uh, <laughs> Not tired of the game, tired. Just tired. Okay. Oh. Yeah, and when you're using boosters too. When you're using those boosters, you don't get the most control over how you're turning. This actually might not get us high enough. I'm gonna go to a really slow burn. I probably should have started off on a slower burn and built up. Because, yeah, there's not any chance. Um, I'm actually going to just revert to launch. I'm going to try the ship again. And we're going to start on a low throttle and build our way up. So that we can, can keep a consistent surface speed down here. Because, yeah, we don't need to gain a bunch of speed, we just need to keep moving. And the longer we can keep moving, the higher this will go. But I do almost wonder if... I'm not entirely sure if my liquid fuel uh, expenditure remains the same, regardless of my throttle. I guess this will be kind of the experiment for that. Except I don't really remember how high I was getting last time. Yeah, we're losing a little bit of speed, but not much. 40,000. Yeah. Okay. Um, bigger fuel tank. That is the answer. I was expecting, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to knock at least three of these contracts out of the way in this go. Ruben down here is kind of, seems kind of worried about whether, about everything. Now he's just flipping the fuck out. We're just gonna go hard burn. Dang, that didn't really solve a whole lot. That actually seems to have made it worse. Oh, why is my decoupler down here? Oh, that's not... Okay, people. That's because I got rid of... That's because I'm doing stupid things. Stupid is as stupid does. I got rid of the science... Center. Ruben. 
rather than the fuel compartment. But was that then... I wonder. Uh, I'm wondering if that's... Jeez, oh, I even told myself I wasn't gonna go, uh, right there. That... Was that cutting off the fuel supply from one section to the next? I really need to get the habit of checking some of these things. So I wonder if I was not getting enough fuel. I'm going I'm leaning to the wrong side. I want to lean out towards the ocean. Let's get this up a little bit over. We still got fuel, so however much altitude we lose, we can gain. He seems pretty pleased with himself. We also haven't gotten the ability to go EVA yet. Uh, I have to upgrade the astronaut complex before I can do that. But yeah, hopefully we'll actually get into what they're referring to as space with this. I think it starts at about 75. Or does it start just straight up at 70? While in space, near Kerbin. Okay. Um... Transmitter recover from space around Kerbin. And I am in space. As if we review report in space near Kerbin. Review data in space near Kerbin. Space near Kerbin. Okay. Well, we're headed back down. Forget it. Let's just detach all of that. I was thinking about whether I wanted to try to recover that or not, or actually even use that to cushion my descent, but I'm not going anywhere near as high as I have in the past uh, with <laughs> with that gigantic booster. I'm not going up 80, uh, 850,000 feet or anything. This has me going all the way over here. You're going to keep coming back. I think you'll keep coming back. Kind of looks like we're going to land on those islands. I don't... Oh, uh, we might. Might. Unpossible. I do kind of want to figure out, there is something over here. And I want to see if it's supposed to be like a fake, like a military complex. I've noticed it several times as we've flown past it. But there's most definitely something on this island. And I wonder if there's other like facilities. Uh, on Kerbin as well. See, even according to this, it looks like we're still going to land on this, but we're going to land, I think, just right off the coast here. But that's pretty, uh, that would have been pretty amazing. Oh, nope. Nope. Ah, no. I turned it the wrong way. 
unsafe, huh? Um, still unsafe? Still unsafe? Jeez, okay. Wow. That was unexpected. <clears throat> we don't want to come s s screaming straight back down. <laughs> Is what killed us. But yeah, we definitely want to get towards... <sighs> Starts at about 7,000, so once we get close to 80 with this, we'll stop, and then the friction and everything... We'll cut back on the throttle. We don't really need to... So, actually, no, not that way. Oh my gosh, T. <laughs> Ooh, we can definitely cut that. Shoot, which way? I need to rotate this around. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of a burn. It's because I feel like we mostly went straight up still. And I wanna. Then I have some liquid fuel on this still. Um, that'll get us so we're not coming in at quite a steep angle, but we are going a lot higher as you can tell. We're gonna we're gonna do something a little weird here. in that basically when we're coming down we're gonna boost in the opposite direction to slow our descent. Uh, which means I'm gonna have this on for a lot longer than I would like. <clears throat> but uh, this is gonna be, a, this has been a long enough episode that uh, And we're gonna burn a bit in this opposite direction. We're actually gonna just do full burn, and that so that helped, that slowed us down about 200 meters a second when we did that. Of course, now I'm having a hard time getting this lined up. Ooh. So I think that'll be a little bit better of a descent. Okay. No, oh, damn it. Okay, we're not picking up speed at least. We're maybe not sh shedding speed as much as I would like. Unsafe. Unsafe. Come on, thing! 
God dang it, dude. I have the right idea, and I'm gonna keep going through with it. The devil's in the details on this case. We need to mostly go straight up until we get to here, at least. I kind of just want to inch just a little bit to the left. Okay. Now we're going to go over to about... Oh. Stop rotating! Oh my gosh, stop rotating! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I can't even tell which way is up! Okay, okay, okay. I think I mostly gotten you under control. Oh man, damn it, we're not even going high enough yet. Why are you rotating so badly? Oh, because I didn't have that turned on. Okay. We need that. We need that. We need... That we're actually gonna apply some thrust because we need to get that higher. We are gonna cut there. We're back to where we were back in like episode 3 in those long episode days. Uh, which this is going to be a long episode. That's That seems to be how you can tell that things are not working out for me. You can rename vessel while in the middle of flight. I just need to recover this data, and I can't afford to lose a pilot either. We're still gaining altitude just a little bit. I mean that's the that's the only other place that looks like it has a bunker that I've come across. I kind of want to just make a little ship and then try to fly over there with my like little plane that I've made in the past. That might actually be how I start off next episode if I remember cuz like I said I'm not uh I'm taking a break after this from this game. Uh it will be back and it'll probably be back might even be back before you guys knew it was gone. And we need to actually... Uh, 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 that way. We need to... get it... We need to get it in the opposite direction from that. There we go. Stop stop rotating. Shoot. By the time I get there, it's shifted all over.
Well, that's weird. Left, right, up, down. It's weird because up and down is reversed, is inverted. But left and right are not, and my brain has a hard time with that. And I can't really be super subtle because it's basically taint. Okay, well we were almost through. Come on, go safe, go safe, go safe. Whew. Okay, woo, let's land this shiz. Red green line. Okay. And we got we got that one. We got it. We we got it right. Did did we get it? Did we get it? Well, we're back over a hundred thousand. Over ninety thousand. We got a hundred thousand dollars. Transmitter recovered scientific data from space around Carbon. Woo! We've already done it before, but we haven't actually done the mission for it. Okay. I'm exhausted, people. That's it for this episode. Like I said, I'll probably be back before you guys even notice, so I'm just leaving for the day. But, uh, thanks for tuning in, and, uh, have a good one. Just, just, have a good life if you don't ever turn in. If you do, post, let me know. Let me know if you had a good life. So come back here in 50 years and tell me that you've had a good life. Because that's what matters. Peace out, everybody.